let us hope it will work. So this is about lecture one on a course on, uh, I would say, computational metallurgy. In, normally, it's customary to describe uh, the purpose and the aim, the base materials one is going to use. So let us discuss a very tentative syllabus. So in this course, I will use uh, in a massive way uh, the computational thermodynamics software banded from computer. I will all discuss some very elementary uh, concept and approach on ideal and real binary phase diagram. We will discuss in a little time the case of the iron carbon phase diagram using a specific thermodynamic database I have been adapting over the years. We will also explore the National Institute of Material Science of Japan site and we will try to get data from them to compare the results we will obtain with uh, my adapted FE Miani 2018 thermodynamic database and their uh, thermodynamic database. We will also read uh, currently, please, in Italian, a book which is very useful, I believe. It is three books uh, by my colleague, Professor um, Marco Bognardi, and also my colleague, Andrea Casaroli, from the Milan Polytechnic. And we will uh, make calculation for binary phase diagram, not only so for iron carbon, but for so iron chromium, iron cobalt, iron manganese, iron nickel, iron silicon, and iron tungsten. Um, we will also uh, consider ternary systems, including iron carbon and a third element, which is the same of the, those that I have just been telling you. So chromium, cobalt, manganese, nickel, silicon, and tungsten. We will also speak about solidification curves. I'm insisting a little bit um, on this concept because I find them useful for the practical application of what we can do with the, with the computational metallurgy software. We will make uh, a digression, which is not a digression, which is something very useful. I'm calling it octave, like uh, in Italian, maybe you use octave, which is a matter like a software you should download and we will use multiple linear regression to evaluate liquidus and solidus temperatures of steel. Then we will introduce uh, a more computational uh, criterion for hot cracking, which is, has been using and introduced by Professor Sindaku um, for welding, and now it is currently under the attention of uh, the metallurgy community uh, for evaluating hot cracking sensitivity, not only for uh, aluminum uh, alloys, uh, which was basically the one that they have been introducing it, but for more uh, complex alloys, not only steels, but it could be for other technologies as well. So super alloys and so on. we will discuss it. Meanwhile, we'll also introduce uh, uh, a discussion on semi-solid casting and we will um, have a view on the processes which is real casting and uh, tixoforming but we will also have a look at the thermodynamics and we will also calculate the sensitivity in aluminum alloys for semi-solid <coughs> processing this will allow us to study uh, uh, aluminum alloys from the computational but also from a technological point of view maybe the students uh, will prepare some materials about them because just describing alloys uh, could be rather boring, but making calculations and finding application, it could be a little bit more interesting. The same could be said for copper alloys. So we will uh, discuss copper alloys from the technological point of view. We will introduce also an open um, thermodynamic database that I've been developing. It is not so nice. Uh, but it is, I believe, the only one which is for copper alloys. So we will use this one 
and we will also discuss the concept of the global restriction factor that uh, I will not explain here. Um, finally, and this will be later on because we will try to discuss a unified approach for the metallurgy of solidification using computational metallurgy, and we will exploit uh, the derivative of the shy cars by using Pandat and or Octave. And so this will allow us to discuss a basic approach in the development development of alloys using Calfat. So this is tentative syllables and probably we will add or cut something that uh, it is typical of my lectures. One is never the same as, as the other. Okay, so um, in an introductory course, I would like to encourage you to listen to some of my inspiring colleagues. I saw Professor Harry Badesha, who is Emeritus Statistical Professor in Cambridge and Professor of Metallurgy at Queen Mary University. Here you find the link. Uh, he has a specific uh, Badesha 123 YouTube channel, and you can listen to many, many, many presentations at different levels uh, on steels and on metallurgy. He has a uh, fantastic uh, material, both, both written, both, yeah, not only both, but books, uh, PDFs and in, in his own site in the University of Cambridge, but also this YouTube can, the channel is fantastic if you want to face similarly the study of steels. I think it is important to consider this one. Well, um, we started with this uh, lecture from another colleague, uh, Professor by Brian Cantor, who was emeritus at Oxford, but I think he is uh, working with the Brunel University in London as well. In, uh, I also suggest you to have a, a look and to listen carefully, actually, to this uh, presentation of high entropy alloys, um, because this topic is rather uh, fashionable, I would say, in this moment, but uh, you should understand more than just high entropy alloys from this uh, presentation. Another uh, presentation which we have been recording all these are on the Badisha one, two, three, and all this, all this one, this one, and also the other one, they've been organized by myself, and then they've been recorded, and then they've been uploaded uh, kindly by Professor Badesha in his own site. So this is Professor Donna Sadoway, and he is uh, working since long to decarbonize uh, uh, metal production, and he is uh, now involved not only uh, his um, now emeritus at MIT, but is involved in the Boston uh, Metal Company, which is a sort of a startup, you know, spin-off from MIT. And I would encourage you to listen for uh, to listen to this presentation. If you should find time, it's twenty minutes, thirty minutes. So, so uh, you you get an example of what it is chemical metallurgy. So. So it's important to, to have an idea of this one because the topic of decarbonization we see, which is taking about 10% of the global emissions. I mean, I think it's so important that we cannot avoid in a course of metallurgy discussing some topics about that. And then there is Professor Wu Sunman, uh, who is emeritus, emeritus from KTH, and practically he has invented, or is one of the inventors of computational metallurgy. He has developed uh, the main, uh, um, not on the, the only, but uh, one of the main, or yes, the main uh, computational thermodynamic or CALFA, as they say, uh, software. And so recently he has decided to found his own uh, company, which is uh, Open CALFA. And so he is proposing to all of us, uh, he has open. Um, Calfat software, you can listen to this lecture. He made in Udine uh, something like uh, one year ago, and we are still in contact and we have an ambitious project that I would like you to, to understand in the future because this is an introductory course, so I wouldn't speak about all the, the possibilities that we can do or we can face in the near future. But, Uh, again, um, 
I would recommend you to download uh, those books. It is a trilogy, so they are three books. Uh, currently, uh, they are available. Uh, the three books, they are available in um, Italian, and two of the books, they are available in English. So this is a fantastic opportunity to get updated material because the last book is from December 2022, uh, and they are in PDF, and you can download from a company, which is uh, Luce Fin and Trafilix, who has been uh, sponsoring the whole uh, uh, publication. I recorded the two authors, Marco Boniardi and Andrea Casaroli, they are from one of the best universities in Italy, and perhaps not only in Italy, which is the Milan Polytechnic. Another interesting text that you can download, uh, just the first chapter for free, but my students, they can download uh, or assess it uh, through the um, system of uh, our uh, electronic library there. Uh, it is a book, um, uh, by an English colleague, and um, which is thermodynamic kinetics and microstructure modeling. It is a book, but it is a book on using uh, Pandat, which is the the software we will be using along with this course. So I believe it is interesting to have a look at the first chapter, and then maybe we can uh, we can develop some topics about it in this uh, current academic year. Um, so, we are speaking about CALFAD. So, CALFAD and computational metallurgy for me sounds like the same, and actually they are the same. So, CALFAD is calculation of phase diagrams for any kind of material. We are focusing on metals chiefly or on metallurgy because uh, metallic alloys they involve a metal and something uh, and some other elements which can be metallic or non metallic. So, we will see about that. But uh, uh, we will not uh, speak a lot about oxide uh, systems and so on. You can study and develop uh, by means of Kalfa. So, uh, Larry Kaufman, he was uh, the inventor of uh, this methodology. And you can have a look uh, at this paper. And, and basically, uh, you can have some ideas in that we will just uh, be users of that, but you can find uh, a whole side of the Kalfa metal there and a specific later on the history of this methodology, which is not so, it is something like, uh, uh, would say, 50 years, a little bit, 50, 60 years. So you should have a look. Then please have a look also at Open Kalfa, and if you can install a new PC, it will be great as well. And of course, you need to use for my course this um, software which is parted from the computer. And then you should download uh, from the site a register and go on with that. It will take a little bit of time, but this is normal. Uh, in the same site, you will find some free training videos um, you can uh, explore. In uh, another thing that uh, you can register if you are a student of the University of Udine, um, you can register uh, to the National Institute of Material Science in Japan and obtain uh, some binary thermodynamic database, which uh, we will use to compare the results we are obtaining using would say my, but uh, uh, it's a big word because they are adaptive databases. Uh, so comparing the databases we, we will be using to those which are uh, available for free upon registration, but your own institution should uh, register to this uh, to this possibility. So uh, you can compare binary uh, databases with our with our uh, FE Miami 2018, you have a lot of uh, actually um, more than 30, I would say, elements uh, to compare. Mm, this is a course for engineers, so some of those elements uh, 
are useful for for seals. Uh, some of the, the SMBs, <laughs> nickel, molybdenum, silicon, whatever, but uh, other elements here are not so useful. But we will try to to get them. Uh, we'll see one. Uh, you should log in there. I have already registered, so I hope it uh, will be possible to to uh, see the screen. I'm always puzzled if the screen is on or not, but we will see later on. It seems uh, now it is possible to to see this one recording. So this is iron manganese, and this is the way how we can save it somewhere, like a text file for the moment, then we will replace it. So iron manganese. Uh, I think I made a mistake. Uh, it is interesting to, to explore the whole platform, but not in the current moment. But you have a lot of data, including crystallographic data here. So it is. Uh, valuable, interesting, and something so useful. But let us go back to our presentation. So we assume that we will be able to work with all those um, phase diagrams, which is a lot. So studying them seriously would take more than a course, but we will be uses here is an example for iron silver which is not a typical element you would find in steels but never mind it's useful to co to consider this and then uh, using other um, open databases like uh, this uh, uh, database for nickel alloys you can find more information what it is uh, interesting to say in a preliminary talk about my lectures, is this is, for instance, an application for uh, a preview of, of the things we will see. I will make this uh, presentation available, so you will have a look at this presentation. So this is just an overview, a sort of a uh, mixture of different topics of a uh, uh, different presentations, so it's a long uh, PowerPoint uh, file um, which I've been using for um, for an online uh, computational metallurgy course. So again, now you can see those uh, uh, copper binary alloys who will compare probably with my, this is my own, so it is very messy like I am, um, open thermodynamic database for copper alloys and which is something over there. So just quickly, quickly browsing. This is copper, silver again. So we've been considering it for iron, silver, and this is copper, silver. And then you can have a look at the different so, the possibilities of the software. So you can overlap one recent result like this one and one undecent result, I should fix it, uh, copper beryllium and, uh, for, uh, for this one. How you can obtain those uh, databases? You can obtain them from the Japanese site, uh, National Institute of Material Science. You can obtain them 
by means of grants in uh, scientific literature. Uh, actually, there is a possibility to get them uh, from uh, another site that I will present you a little bit later. So, for the moment, I would check the elapsed time and uh, stop recording. So this is something like 20 minutes. It's enough for your own attention. Uh, please let me know what you think about this first presentation. Have a nice day.